Project Lore, episode number six. Now, in this week's episodes, we are going to be going into the first instance in the Akin Dune section of Terracar Forest. Now, the Akin Dune used to be a Janai holy place and also a horde uh, tower. And then the Shadow Council came in and decided, let's summon some massive demons, which exploded a whole section of the Terracar Forest around Akin Dune, causing the bone wastes. Now, we're going to be going into the Sethic Hall. Sethic Hall is overrun with the Arakoa, which are the bird people in the Outlands. The Sethic is a subsect of the Arakoa that broke off from the Skedis, and they basically think that they're the, uh, the end-all bees knees of the Arakoa. Um, they're led by the Town Lord, which we're going to go in and try to destroy right now. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Project Lore. This week's episode, the role of Juggernaut shall be played by Schnubin. Salutation! Schnubins. So we're heading in, we're gonna uh, clear out the first bit of trash on our way to the first boss in Sethic Halls. Keeping. Oh! oh! What the heck was that? I got him, I'll see him again. Get him, Jimmy. <laughs> moon's up. up, moon's up. Let's sort of discuss everything. This is a show about how to. We're gonna sheep the moon and kill the skull. Here's the thing, first off, we are teachers of the game of World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> we Let's are very self-professed the best World of Warcraft players ever. Yeah, I don't think our audience understands that. You ready to sheep that owl? Sheep, snoob, sheep. I think it's obvious from our gameplay. <laughs> Shoob, <laughs> snoob, sheeping should have commenced. Sorry. Way to play, okay. buddy. Uh, it works. Kill the totem. Anybody? What totem? I'm charmed. Somebody kill that. Oh, the totem that is standing right next to me. I'm on it. I'm on it. There we go. Perfect. Sorry, guys. I was just hitting everybody. That's fine. Everybody run out. What's with the shades, Corey Hart? Check it. Whoa! Sick, right? iZ3D, the world's first 3D monitor designed for gamers. It's like I'm in the world of Warcraft. Yeah. All right, so we're here at the first boss in Sethic Hall's Dark Weaver Sith. Now, Dark Weaver Sith is pretty much a tank and spank. However, he's got friends. So basically what happens is during the fight he gets to spawn a fire elemental, a frost elemental, a shadow elemental, and an arcane elemental, which is mental. So we're going to attempt this first go um, with uh, the offensive strategy, which is all-out DPS on uh, Dark Weaver. When they first pop the elementals, throw up fear. Okay. Give them some time to get around somebody to, to get around us all. Pop fear, burn, 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 and hopefully by the time they come back, uh, we'll have him dead. Okay, sound good? That'll okay. happen. So that's what we call <laughs> offensive strategy. We're gonna do it. <laughs> so so check pop. back after we wipe for the conservative strategy. <laughs> all right, so pop everything. Heroism. All DPS. Hero with. Let's get ready to. So misdirect. Do it. Yeah, misdirect to Lyle. Are we ready? Nope. Yes. You ready? Here we go. Yeah, here we go. All right, get in there. Misdirect. And left 
rock this. Yeah. Right, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Ready. Spear -Z, Spear -Z, Spear -Z, Spear -Z, Spear -Z. Nice. Good work. Burn everything, guys. Let's see what happens. You got a puppet. Yeah! Oh, shit. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. They have four elementals. Oh, my God. I'm dead. Dude, <laughs> offensive Dude, strategies. Dude, I got like 90,000 things on me. Awesome. <laughs> I can't believe uh, that worked. I'm a, I have a flame buffet on well, me. That started going all the hell right there. Well, that's what, <laughs> that's what it actually said was it said, I have a the offensive strategy can get a bit crazy. <laughs> that's what they said. I had a frost buffet, wait, 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 a wait, wait, shadow wait. buffet, a flame Schnubins. buffet. Schnubins. I would, I would ask that you use your jumper cables on sure. Goggins. Of course. Thank you. That'll You're work. Welcome. I'm real good at that stuff. Wow. That was fun. That was really fun. I say guys. we do it that again. Was, that Reset was actually really, really, really fun. I wish we could. Dude, he went down fast. For a second, he wasn't going down. And I, I know, I me too. And I was like, we're halfway well, there, and we got one wave of ads. I was like, uh oh. Yeah, that was when I was casting that really long cast spell. I oh, that was with your pyro, your first pyroblast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he hadn't even started. <laughs> yeah. He and also then, and then popped started. everything at it was great. once. Yeah, that was good. Dude, I was like eight feet tall. I know, yeah, normally it was great. three feet. And I, dude, I did sixteen hundred <laughs> DPS. Did you get it, Gogs? Did it work? Okay, good. Oh, yes, I got the book of forgotten names. Oh, is that part of a quest? Yeah. Oh, good. It's part of the big uh, Nightbane quest. Anybody want the Corian band design? I'll take the design. Okay, <laughs> going to Darkens. Liberal of Eternal Rest. Anybody want this? No, just D. D. That was fun. That was really fun. I say we do it again. Project Lore is powered by Falcon Northwest.